Not all deployment happens for the same reason or is released to the same audience. The different places where your applications can live are called environments. When you are developing your application locally and testing it on your local host, you are using your development environment. At this stage, your application has not yet been deployed. You are testing and you are adding features of your app to ensure it does what it's supposed to. This is also where you fix the majority of the bugs. Now, what you may think of as deploying can actually be broken down into two kinds of deployment, staging and production environments. Let's cover the more straightforward one first, production. Deploying to a production environment is making your app available to your users. The production environment is configured for your code to be hosted on a server. Hosting on a production environment is meant to be the end goal. You can think of this as the gallery opening, the final product that is released for the world to see. But what if you've been testing your application locally and you fixed all the bugs, but you still want to see what the experience will be like for your users before you release to production? In this common scenario, you would instead deploy to a staging environment. The staging environment is like making the final changes of your gallery a dress rehearsal before the live release. Staging can be and often should be very similar to the production environment that is ready for end users. However, the staging environment includes additional tests and often some sample data. Most importantly, the application deployed to a staging environment is meant to be accessed by yourself, your developer collaborators, beta testers, but not the end user. The process of working on a development environment and deploying to a staging and then to a production environment is sometimes called the deployment pipeline. There are many tools that allow for a development team to optimize this pipeline to keep a consistent stream of version updates to the applications, like automatically deploying to staging after every Git push or running a final set of tests before releasing to production. Keep the deployment pipeline in mind when you deploy an application especially as your applications grow more complicated.